The human system is the most complex thing ever discovered. The brain has more connections than there are stars in the known universe. Your gut is more complex than the ecosystem of the Amazon. And your immune system displays a level of complexity not seen anywhere else. This is when things are going well. What happens when your system is challenged? First, humans are not distinct systems. We are one whole being. All the systems we normally talk about, like the nervous, GI, endocrine, immune systems, etc., are integrated and constantly talking to each other. When you are ill, the crosstalk jumps exponentially. This crosstalk is always about how to keep things running in balance. But different systems often have very different opinions about what balance means. With chronic illness, sometimes a new normal is established that can perpetuate illness. This can be from pathogenic forces hijacking your systems or from your systems themselves rewiring due to the constant pathogenic pressure. Complex systems in your body monitor and manage everything about you. They use internal and external information. The body uses the five normal senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Then adds a sixth sense. The body can't tell the difference between a real or believed event. So the sixth sense is cognitive or thinking. All these inputs are brought to your attention through a complex part of the brain called the limbic system. This area of the brain has traditionally been thought of as the emotion and memory center. But this is only a small part of its function. Via inputs from the prefrontal cortex and complex limbic interactions, it is a switching amplification and prioritization system. There is an old saying in neuroscience, neurons that fire together, wire together. This means that the longer a neural pattern is active, the more established and fixed the pattern will become. It is important to be careful here. We are not talking about psychology, we are talking about physiology. The result of chronic illness building these well-established alarm pathways is it suppresses the healing response. Illness has an acute phase and a resolution phase. Chronic illness never properly organizes the resolution phase. It is organization of the resolution phase that results in reestablishing balance and healing. Let's take a look at one area of chronic illness. An acute illness will increase inflammation. This will set the stage for identifying and eliminating the problem, but it will also set off pathways within your limbic system resulting in upregulated sympathetic activity. That will result in blood being shunted from your gut to other organs. This lack of blood to the gut results in inefficient digestion and absorption. It also results in alterations of your microbiome, that teeming ecology of good bacteria in your gut essential to wellness. Additionally, 70% of your immune system lives in your gut. So with diminished blood supply to the gut, you have functional immune compromise. You will also have diminished blood supply to the liver and thus suboptimal detoxification. These are all adaptations to an acute threat. In the short term, they allow your body to move energy resources from one area to another for defense. The problem comes when the issue is no longer short-lived. Instead, it is chronic. Once these new alarm pathways are set up and well-established, they must be deliberately extinguished by the body so that healing can again take place. Without extinguishing these pathways, you will not heal. Instead, you will fall into an ever-tightening spiral of poor health due to the illness getting bigger and your body's ability to fix it getting smaller. This can result in a pathogenic force staying in your system longer than they normally would or having the same illness symptoms long after the pathogenic influences are gone. Think of it this way. Your immune system at rest can use up to 25% of all of the energy you eat. When you are ill, that can go up by 60% or more. While you are sick, your toxic load, inflammation, and injuries all build. That makes energy production less efficient. 
So just as you need more energy to fight, your ability to make energy is diminished. With an acute illness, we generally have the reserve to deal with this. It is chronic illness that taxes the system to the breaking point. The good news is, this is fixable. The same process that wired the alarm pathways can normalize them. The first step is finding and eliminating the primary cause. Next, we must rebuild the system so it has the capacity to heal. The problem is the limbic system and associated connections have decided your current state is the best way to balance things out. So without input, it will not change. We have many tools to influence these pathways. For many, just understanding these issues can have profound balancing effects. Our program at Just Be Well called Rebalance to Heal is available to all and is low cost. Sometimes these alarm pathways are so well established they need a more vigorous intervention. As we have seen, energy is a key issue in resolving these problems. Resuscitation of your mitochondria, the energy powerhouses of your cells, is central to healing. We can use nutritional supplements, IV nutrition, and IV NAD to do this. NAD is at a bottleneck of mitochondrial function and when given can help your energy systems flow more efficiently. By upregulating hormones involved in rewiring your brain or neuroplasticity, we can reestablish healing balance to your systems. This can be accomplished with low dose ketamine. Ketamine is an anesthetic agent that interacts with at least 30 different neuroreceptor systems in your brain. It helps calm overreactive areas of your brain. It helps release brain-derived neurotrophic factor, essentially a growth hormone for your brain. In addition to its pharmacological effects, it has been shown to have mystical or psychedelic effects. These may be the more powerful effects of ketamine. It can unleash your innate healing response. These therapies can be coupled with EEG-based biofeedback, counseling, coaching, and other tests and therapies to reestablish a healthy healing balance. I'm Tom Salt, a medical doctor here at Just Be Well.